In today's video, we're gonna give you five simple hacks to make your airport journey easier. All right, let me get one, one more time. In what the f is that? It's a butterfly. Whoa, that's no butterfly. <laughs> oh my God. All right, ready? <laughs> In today's video, we're going to give you five simple hacks to save you time, energy, and money at the airport. Hack number one is know your baggage rights. So first things first, when you're traveling with a wakeboard bag, you must remember it's a wakeboard in there, nothing else. There's no snowboard, no water ski, no other sports equipment other than a wakeboard. So when you're booking your wakeboard as baggage, if you click on the drop down for the sports luggage, it will often list things like snowboard, water skis, and other equipment. If a wakeboard is not specifically listed, and it says in the small print that if your sports equipment is not listed, it will count as normal check baggage. This is what you can do and you can book it in as check baggage. However, your board bag will have to be under the weight allowance of normal baggage and under the size restrictions, which is usually about 275 centimeters and the average weight board bag adds up to 245 centimeters. So you can get your sports equipment in as normal baggage with that rule. Yeah, coming in at hack number two, the classic switcheroo. Once you've checked in your wakeboard bag, normally you're allowed to take with you two pieces of carry-on luggage. That's a backpack and a small suitcase. Now, normally the baggage allowances say that you're only allowed seven kilograms between these two pieces of luggage. What you can do is once you've had your board bag weighed, if you are overweight on the two pieces of hand baggage, tell them that you're gonna rearrange some things. On your way over to the oversized luggage section where you drop off your board bag, you can quickly swap over some of the things into your ball bag, check your ball bag in, and your bags are now underweight. And you've got away with, what, potentially, we got away with like 10 kilograms on time. Some airports, they'll take your bags over the back, so be careful with this one. But the majority of airports that we've traveled with will wear your bags at check-in and not weigh them when they get to oversize. So fill up that wakeboard bag with all the hand luggage you can so that if they weigh it as you get on the plane, you don't have to ch pay that excess fee. Coming in at hack number three is don't be a sheep. Yeah, so hack number three, it's not so much of a hack, but basically you don't always have to follow the crowd. When you're sat at the boarding gate and you see everybody stand up to get on the plane, ask yourself this question. Why on earth are they standing up? Everybody's gonna end up on the plane at the same time. All you have to do is simply sit down, relax, read a book, listen to an audio book. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with books right now, but yeah, you don't have to get up. Everyone's gonna get on the plane. Why on earth people wanna stand there? I don't know. Yeah, you can literally wait till the final call, walk up, they'll bleep your ticket, and you can walk straight in and sit down on the plane. So that's hack number three. Now moving on to hack number four. Yeah, hack number four, similar to the boarding gate, is getting off the plane. Now, as soon as the seatbelt signs turn off, you hear a massive sea of clicks. Just Everybody undoing their seatbelts and standing up. Again, why are they doing that? Everyone's gonna get off the plane. Idiots. Yeah. Exactly that, so what you can do here is uh, just sit down in your seat until it's your turn to go and then this is your time to shine. Don't let anyone go past in that aisle, stand up and take as long as you need to get all your bags out one by one and then walk off the plane feeling nice and chilled out, not panicked and making your way over to the baggage collection. Yes, which brings us to our final hack, hack number five. Once you've arrived at the baggage section, you're probably gonna see everybody that was rushing to get off the plane in front of you. Just wanted to say a massive well done to everyone who rushed off the plane in front of us. You're now waiting at the baggage carousel for about 20 minutes longer than we are, so definitely worth it. Yet the bags haven't even come out yet. They're all gonna be standing there, staring at the baggage carousel, hoping that it's gonna make their bags come quicker. Again, this isn't the case. Just stand back, wait for your bags to come, just be patient really. As soon as you see your bag, just walk straight to it, 
pull it off and that's it. Yeah, and as you can see for us, this actually helped us out massively as the woman came up to us first, told us that our baggage was actually coming out on the other baggage collection. We walked straight up, grabbed our bags and walked out the airport to get picked up. By standing at the back, the woman actually came up to us first and told us that our bags are on the other carousel, they've come out first and we haven't had to queue up or wait for anything. And that is how you make your airport journey stress-free. Yeah, so these are the hacks that have worked for us over our years of traveling and they work at about 95% of the airports. We hope these work for you and if they don't, we're really sorry. Hopefully you can use a few of these simple hacks to make your traveling life a lot easier. If these hacks have helped you out or you think they're pretty cool, drop us a like, and leave us a comment and please subscribe as it helps us out a lot. Please subscribe. <laughs> we got trick tutorials coming on Tuesday, daily vlogs, so keep up to date with what we are doing. Hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, as we are going to be uploading a load more. That is it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.